Hello everyone, welcome to the Hypergamous Journey. My name is Denise. At this channel, we discuss dating advice for mature women, mature in age and in mindset. Today, I would like to discuss with you a telephone call I received recently from one of my, I call them potential suitors. Basically, he told me that there was no chemistry between us. I don't recall a man telling me this before. I don't recall a man telling me this in the past. If he didn't feel chemistry, at least he didn't tell me that he didn't feel chemistry. And I learned something very interesting in that conversation. I learned that for a man, there is a difference between chemistry and having sex or intimate relations. He said that he didn't feel chemistry for me, um, toward me. And so I wasn't surprised when he said it because in two instances during our date, it proved that he didn't have chemistry. But he was honest enough to say it and to bring it to light. And I thanked him for being honest. I thanked him for being honest. As we speak, forgive me, I'm trying to. I need lighting because my face is darker than the rest of me. And this is, well, my hands are darker than my chest and seem to match my face. You know how black people are. <laughs> we got different colors going on depending on which part of the body is being lighted. So anyway, so I wasn't surprised and let me tell you why. On our date, after we ate, we had a very good conversation and I enjoyed talking to him and I think he enjoyed talking to me. After we ate, we took a walk around, I guess for about 30 minutes in the neighborhood. We went to an upscale restaurant, French restaurant in Buckhead. And this is in Atlanta, Georgia. So we went to an upscale restaurant in Atlanta and we walked around for about, maybe it wasn't even 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, we walked around the neighborhood or the restaurant area because there were other restaurants, there were shops, places to sit, um, to eat out on the sidewalk, not many restaurants had that going on, but maybe a few. So we kind of were, were walking and talking and getting to know each other. And I, um, so to test, I took his arm. You know how you're walking as a woman and you put your arm over the man's arm, you kind of take his arm. So I did that as a test. I don't know what inspired me to do that. I just felt like it. So I did it. And I felt a little bit of him tensing up. Sign number one. So I felt him tense up. So I released his arm. And I said, okay, well, let me see. I brushed my hand against his and he didn't take my hand. So I said, oh, he's not attracted to me. So he, you know, he said I was pretty. He said I looked nice. Um, a couple of other people, women, complimented me. And the uh, 
the person who seats you, I don't know what they are called. She liked, she said I had a pretty dress. Um, so when he told me that he didn't feel chemistry, I said, um, I thought the same, but I didn't explain. And, you know, I don't have to explain. I didn't explain that I could tell from those two incidents where I took his hand and I brushed my, took his arm and I brushed my hand up against his. I was testing and I don't know why I did that because you, I have taken the man's arm before and I do it when I'm feeling unstable in my heels. <laughs> When I'm feeling a little bit unstable in my heels and we're doing a walk around. Now, walking to my car, I usually don't do it. Like after we eat and we walk and he walks me to my car, I don't take his his arm. But if we're going to do some walking around, I do take the arm. Because I remember doing this on a date with a man that I got from the matchmaking company called It's Just Lunch. Don't do it. Um they matched me with a man. He was a white gentleman, bald head. He wore a cowboy hat outside, not in the restaurant. And so I remember taking his arm and he relaxed his body. He relaxed his body when I took his arm and we were doing a walk to my car, but there was a little bit of a hill to get to my car, which was parked in a garage. So he relaxed into um, himself and into me so that I could comfortably hold on to his arm. But this gentleman tensed up a little bit and then he didn't um, take my hand to as we were walking around. So I said, I don't think he's attracted. And so he confirmed in conversation that he wasn't attracted. So then this is the interesting part. He said when he, he's 70, so he said when he was younger, he would be thinking of ways of which we could have sex and he could get laid. And I thought, and I didn't have this conversation with him, but when I got off the phone, I said, wow, even though there's no chemistry between us. So basically what he's saying is there's really no sexual attraction but he, in his younger days, he would be thinking about how he could have sex with me. So there's a um, a line of division for men between having sex, I mean, um, having chemistry and having sex where they just get a release. They get a physical release into the woman who he is doesn't have any sexual chemistry with. But it's enough of a, of a enough of an attraction that he can get an erection and have and get laid. There's enough of an attraction for him to get laid, but there's not any sexual attraction for a relationship. Interesting. Very, very interesting. And so I know that men can. Um, get laid like it doesn't take much especially when they're younger for them to get an erection you know the wind the vibrating of the vehicle you know as he's driving they said you know just someone someone or something maybe a dog or a person on their lap they say it's easy for them to get an erection especially a healthy male um, it might be different as they get older because of, you know, ED, erectile dysfunction and stuff like that. But when they're younger, they said, you know, a breeze can make them get an erection. I didn't know this. I didn't know this. So I just thought it was interesting that he said that there's no, phys there's no um, chemistry between us, or at least on his part, there was no chemistry on his part toward me. But he could, but if he were younger, he could think of how he could have 
sex with me, get laid, even though there is no chemistry. So I'm told that, you know, men can get an erection for easily. They can get an erection easily. The wind, the vibration of the, the car seat driving or anything like that. And, um, you know, they'll do prostitutes <laughs> whom they have no physical, whom they have no emotional attachment to. They can get an erection for her. Um, so yeah, that, I just thought that was interesting and I wanted to share it with you. Um, that was a few days ago. I don't expect to hear from him again. And we talked for an, even an hour after that because I enjoyed talking to him. I thanked him so much for being honest. And he said he was hesitant to tell me, but he knew that he it was the right thing to do because I told him I was dating for marriage. And he said that he was dating for marriage too. And, and he just, he, he told me and I was just so happy. And he was relieved that I was happy to hear the truth. He said, because it's a hard conversation to have with a woman. And I was glad that he was honest. That's it for me. Remember, I have affirmation journals on Amazon. Don't forget to join for um, join the channel. I have a membership. Click on the join button. And on October 29th, I'm going to do a live. October 29th, which is a Tuesday, I'm going to do a live at 7 p.m. And there's merch. It's in the, it's below this video. So check out mugs, t-shirts for the hypergamous journey. You can use the mugs as reminders of the journey that you're on and to just remind you that you're worthy of hypergamy and not to let anyone tell you otherwise. Anything else? And if you want the free dating guide, email me at thehypergamousjourney at gmail.com. And if you need hand-holding and an accountability partner, I am your girl. I will hold your hand. We will come up with a plan to get out there and start dating. It is not easy but it can be easier with the free dating guide or with me holding your hand. Send me an email at thehypergamousjourney at gmail.com if you would like some hand holding. And if you feel inspired, you can also give a donation at Buy Me A Coffee and I will put the links in the description. I will see you in the next one. Bye.